Dear TETA College, allow me to first introduce our resource person, Ms. Enelia Jimomi, who is the founder and managing director of Enelia Beauty. Enelia Jimomi is a celebrated beauty entrepreneur, vocational trainer, and makeup artist hailing from Dimapur, Nagland. A graduate from Roehampton University, London, Enelia explored her passion for beauty and grooming. She is at the heart of everything at her beauty startup. Analia Beauty, which runs an online store of beauty products. She helps the Naga tribals by providing vocational training in beauty so that they can have a sustainable livelihood. Her goal is to create a business which will provide employment in the Northeast and create a strong beauty brand. You can also find out more about Enelia on Instagram by following her page, Makeup by Enelia. So without wasting much time, I call Ma'am Enelia on stage. Good morning, Tetsu College. I'm Analia Zimomi. I'm the founder and director at Analia Beauty and also the extensionist Makeup by Analia Academy. I also am a professional bridal makeup artist. Next, please. So how my journey started? So it started about 11 years ago when I finished, when I graduated from London in my Master's of International Management and Marketing. So I had a deal with my father. The reason why he sent me to London was because I had to come back and appear for civil services like any other Naga payment would do because of our so-called quota. So I came back and then I, I studied for my civil services for a year, but I decided, you know, like I was wasting my time because that was just not where my mind was. And being from a business background, at that time, all my friends were into MNCs, they were already working. So then I decided, since, and that time was 11 years ago, and 11 years ago still the world was so competitive. So I decided I want to do something which I'm good at because the world is not going to wait for me to learn a new skill. So I decided I'm so good at makeup right now, so why don't I brush up my skill? So that's when I decided, okay, I'm going to be a makeup artist. So I did, uh, I was already good at that, so I did brush up my skills, and because, I'm not even kidding, because that was my passion, it's been 11 years and it just went like that. So now, when I started, I did see that the makeup brushes was super expensive, so one brush was about 2,500 rupees. So I was thinking, how is everyone else affording the brushes without burning their, a hole in the pocket? So uh, after having my experience as a makeup artist in the bridal industry and having direct contact with customers, I saw the problem and I wanted to uh, create a bridge in that gap. That's how Anala Beauty was born. Anala Beauty was also known as, was earlier known as Makeup Anala Brushes. Next slide, please. Uh, so we started with Makeup Anala Brushes, which is now Anala Beauty Private Limited. Just because, uh, like I said, there was lack of luxury quality products which was available at the most affordable pricing. Next slide, please. So with time, uh, I honestly, when I started my brushes, I did not think I would be a private limited. And I was thinking fairly small at that time. So when I started, it was, it was just my Instagram store. I had a website, but it was not working that well. But all the products were stolen on website, I mean, on my Instagram. That's when uh, the lockdown happened. And because there was so much uh, demand for my brushes because of my social media uh, platform that I had and uh, because of the celebrity endorsements so what I did was I connected with makeup academies with celebrities I gave them free PR gifts and luckily because of the connection that I had coming from different schools and colleges in India and abroad because of that contact I was able to connect more with the influencers and with the celebrities that's how I got my free publicity when I say free publicity I did not pay money but it was about the collaboration so that's how uh, I decided why not I take makeup and other brushes to the next level that's how we taught came from Anal Makeup Analia to Analia Beauty in 2017. Yeah. So Analia Beauty, we are women-led and we aim to be India's first woman-led, not only woman-led, but also women-run brand. Currently, we have a team of about nine who takes care of the logistics, uh, marketing, sales, management, product development. And oh, we also have, next please. So we have about 14 SQUs right now. We are only dealing with our tools. I don't want to bore you with this, but this is just a brief summary of our products. Our products are sold at 8x 
the prize that we procure it. Next, please. So these are the celebrity endorsements that we have. And, and I think when you come up with a product, it's really, really important because uh, I see that people don't spend much on marketing and they start feeling stingy. You invest so much in your products or in your services, but you forget to keep a budget aside for marketing. So I think marketing is really, really important to, to if you want to grow a business. Um, Makeup by Anale Academy was born very recently. That was 2022, just two years ago. The reason why I started uh, Makeup by Anale Academy was because I decided to move back to Nagaland and I wanted to bring my expertise into the state where the students or the makeup enthusiasts does not have to leave the state. So I want uh, to, that's why we started Makeup Banal Academy 2022 in June. And uh, we have this one branch right now that's in Dimapro. Our goal is to go to Kohima because I understand there are a lot of people who cannot travel much, though we do have our students from different districts, but there's some who cannot travel, for example, if they're pregnant or mothers or household, you know, the housewives, which is the reason why we want to expand to different districts, the ones who cannot reach to us. Uh, the reason for expansion is just not for the business expansion, but also to create skill development in the state and to generate income so that the women are self-sufficient. When I say women, yes, we are a women-centric company, but we also want to help men as well because men also do apply makeup but yes that's a less number but even the men are welcome to our academy but uh yes they are welcome to our academy but at analia beauty for our trainees and for our um interns we give preferred uh, preference to only females okay next uh, that's our we are located at viva complex analia beauty that's our store if you would like to visit the office and that is our academy right now in third mile so the vision for growth for our company i'll just share a little bit what's our vision what we plan to do i think for every company or, or for every business whether it's a small business or big business it's very important to have a road map and to have you know where you want to see yourself in the next one year two years five years so this is our next there is a typo there it's not two years it's actually five years there's a typo there but this year we plan to come up with that uh, uh with 20, SK, 20 SKUs, I'm so sorry, there's a typo there. With 20 SKUs, and in the next five years, our goal is to come up with 500, uh, 200 SKUs. And uh, so currently we have trained about 170 makeup artists. When I say makeup artists, it is professional makeup artists and also for personal self-grooming courses. Uh, next. Yes, so we do have opportunities for you like my young students if you want to join ours and uh, I'm so sorry but this is only for the women here, females, we have, uh, you can earn with us if you're not working with us directly, we have uh, uh, INFL programs where you can join us, where you can refer and you can earn 10, uh, you can earn 20% from every sale and you can also come and intern with us and learn from us, we would love to have you here and uh, yes. Next, please. So you can uh, contact us at Anali. We this is the contact. If you want, you can take your pictures here. And um, thank you very much for this portal. I'm so happy to be here to be able to share my experience with you all and uh, to inspire, to motivate, because Anali Beauty is all about community building. Thank you very much. We also have another very powerful resource person in our midst. And she is none other than Dr. Lika Kiketo Yepto, who is the founder of Lee's House of Aesthetics. Now, Dr. Lika holds an MBBS from Vaidehi Medical College, Bangalore, with specialized training in aesthetic medicine backed by international exposure, including an international fellowship in advanced aesthetics medicine training in Seoul, South Korea and a diploma in aesthetic medicine from the American Academy of Aesthetic Medicine. She is a member of both the Indian Society of Aesthetic Medicine and the American Academy of Aesthetic Medicine. She started Lee's Beauty Clinic with a vision to empower everyone to look and feel their best. The clinic offers modern state of the art facilities helping you live a life as beautiful inside as it is outside. Ma'am, the stage is yours. Good morning, everyone. I would like to wish everyone a happy Women's Day. 
First of all, I would like to thank God for giving me this opportunity to be here. Um, I want to tell a few things, a few points on my brand lease. So the word Li from my local dialect, Sumi, it means a girl. So the name of my clinic means a girl in my language. Also, I have been trained in uh, many parts of Asia. So when I say Li, they think I'm a Chinese or a Korean person. So I'm well accepted outside and inside. So I chose the name Li. To talk about how I started my career, I was a medical officer. I was a government employee before I started my journey. I resigned for, uh, from government, uh, you know, from Nag government of Nagalan, and I sat for entrance exam. So I got my PG seat in surgery. I went to do surgery. I stayed there for a week, but I felt like it was not my calling. But before I quit as a surgeon. I thought of another plan. So before we quit in life, we should be smart enough to have another backup plan. I came back home. I thought I'll be a pediatrician. But in the process, I developed a lot of acne on my face. And that was the point where I felt very down. When we have a lot of acne or you know, a lot of scars on our face, they say the inner beauty reflects the outer beauty. But when you have a lot of scars or marks, you don't have the confidence. So it started as an emotion, my career. So uh, many people think that beauty is only for people who are, you know, from a better society of with people with a lot of money. But since I started my career as an emotion, I do feel for people from all walks of life. And the treatment in my center, I try to make it uh, from the best, you know, and even the people who cannot have the, um, Spending capacity, I try to curate um, some uh, procedures which can be uh, catered by all. Also, um, the logo, I wish I had a presentation to show my logo, but I did not uh, bring it. So, uh, It's a diamond. I chose the logo diamond because uh, humans are precious like diamond. Like diamond, you know, you polish the diamond and it becomes more precious. Like that, my beauty in my center, humans are all a masterpiece of God, but we need to keep polishing in time, you know. So uh, that is how uh, my brand is all about. Um, now, the two principles that I followed in life, that is uh, from the Bible verse, Proverbs 16, verse 3. It says, commit thy word to the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. So. Before starting, I pray to God because many a times when we even share with our close friends, some ideas are taken by them or by the close ones. But if you commit to the Lord, He will establish you. So I would like to encourage everyone here. I'm sure you all are doing. But first commit your plans to the Lord and definitely He will make a way for you. And also from Luke 6 verse 38, it says, Give and you will receive. We do business to earn profit, but it's not all about earning profit, but also giving back to the society. So I made a commitment, so I try to remind myself each time that no matter how much God bless me, I should always learn to give. In that way, it will multiply. When we don't give, I think it will be divided rather than multiplying. So that's uh, one thing that I want to share. And also hard work and dedication. Starting your own business is very challenging. When I was a government officer, I get paid monthly. No matter if I don't go to work or if I go to work, if I overwork, the salary is constant. So every month I get salary. But when I started my own business, if I don't work, there's no money. But if I work, sometimes I even get uh, the monthly salary that I was getting from the government can be made even in a day. But starting your own business, because many a times people think, Business is the last option, you know, if you give exam, if you fail in everything, it will start a business, but it's not about that. Business itself is a profession. So I would like to encourage everyone, if you're starting a business, should, you should work more hard and dedicate yourself more. Also, choosing quality over quantity, be it in life, friend circles, or anything in life, we should learn to choose quality over quantity. 
even at my center at least i don't have many machines but i chose a very good quality machine so i think i'm i was the first to launch in the northeast and uh, yeah i was the first to launch in northeast after me guhati has launched the machine is from israel so when i chose this quality even if it's one it's making a good results so rather than having a lot of things and uh, not giving any results it's better to choose the quality ones be it people or be it things or be it anything in life last but the most difficult one is we should be thankful i am very thankful for the people who did not believe in me for the people who criticized me for the people who gave me a lot of negativity in life because it is for them that I'm here today. Of course, God has helped me, my family, friends, and all the well wishes. But what made me to do extra in life is by the people who look down on me. So today I thank them. So if anyone, people, if anyone uh, of you are you know, feeling bad because he or she has done something to you, one day you'll be always thankful for them. And my father always tells that when it's too dark, you see the stars. But when it's too dark, you see the brightest stars in life. So now as a student, you must be struggling. I must be struggling as a starting, starting uh, entrepreneur. But don't worry, the brighter days are there for all of us. And I wish you all the best. May God bless you all. Thank you.